I don't trust any word that comes out of his mouth because it's constantly changing and it's all like, to me, feels like manipulation. It's hard to imagine Tom Sandoval being in even more trouble than he was in before, but yeah, he's managed to do it. The Vanderpump Rules star had to walk back something he said in his latest New York Times Magazine profile after he compared his cheating scandal to O.J. Simpson and George Floyd. How? Why? Let's talk about what Sandoval said, how he apologized, and how Vanderpump Rules is following the post-Scandoval fallout in this week's episode. I'm Anna Rumer, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now, Sandoval's whole profile with the Times is kind of a hot mess. It's definitely worth a read. But the most egregious part came when he compared the backlash he received from cheating on Ariana Maddox with Rachel Levis, not only to the O.J. Simpson trial, but to George Floyd's murder. It is a jaw-droppingly ignorant statement, and it drew plenty of criticism from fellow Bravo stars like Gertie Abrera from The Real Housewives of Miami and Sandoval's very own ex-girlfriend, Kristen Doty. Katie Maloney even went for the twofer with her comment, dragging her own ex-husband Tom Schwartz, who's been trying to play Tom Sandoval translator for his bestie all through all of the horrible things he's been saying as of late. Good for you, Katie. Anyways, as people are calling for Sandoval to be kicked off the show, he released this apology on his Instagram story, calling what he had said inappropriate and ignorant and saying he was incredibly sorry and embarrassed. What a mess. From that, it was a hard pivot to this week's episode of Vanderpump Rules because it certainly seems like Sandoval is getting a sympathetic edit at the moment. I mean, Sheena and Brock even sat down with James and Allie to kind of dip their toes back in the water of hanging out with Sandoval after Katie and Ariana turned down the cast trip to Tahoe so they wouldn't have to see him. I'm not stressing about it. He's Schwartz's friend and then like we'll hang. And then if that just wants to mesh at one point, then like. Now, is this about friendship? Is this about mental health? Is it about camera time? You're gonna have to be your own judge of that, but for me, it was definitely a conversation that felt like the turning of the tides back towards Tom. I just don't want him to do something and it to be too Same. late. Allie explained that she didn't have a personal issue with Sandoval, but she felt uneasy around him. And some of the other cast members noted that while they're on Ariana's side and how this all broke down, they're not taking sides necessarily. We can have empathy for someone who's their whole life up. Lala was another one to pivot after Lisa talked to her and Sheena about having more consideration for Tom's mental health. I never gave Sandoval's mental health much thought. In my mind, I looked at him as someone who was like my ex. Sheena, on the other hand, was concerned that reviving her friendship with Tom would mess up her friendship with Ariana. Ariana made it very clear. Anyone who chooses to remain friends with Tom Sandoval is basically dead to her. But at the same time, if someone is really struggling at this level, how do I keep coming for him? And she was right to worry about that because when she brings it up to Ariana later, she is shut down. Ariana says that regardless of how Tom acted toward Sheena as a friend in the past, none of that was genuine. I can understand that maybe he has had some thoughts and some feelings, but like those thoughts and those feelings are based on a situation that he created in which he didn't give a f about anybody else's mental health. I feel like they're trying to give Tom a little bit of a redemption season, but he just can't stop being the villain in real life. What do you think of all of this? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe while you're there, and then head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.